So uh, that's how you fetch a page. Now, um, when, uh, when you're writing a crawler, one really important thing is you have to respect the rules that the operators, uh, that the website operator puts in place. And the way you do that is you check this file that's called robots text on each, uh, every host should have a robots text. And what a robots text, it's basically a list, it's a gentleman's agreement between you, the crawler, and, uh, and, the, and the webmaster, and that defines what you can and cannot get from this server. So it typically looks like that. It starts with the user agent string, so that says that um, uh, if you have a star, that means, okay, uh, what is a user agent? A user agent is a name for your crawler, right? So, uh, it's, um, so when you write a crawler, you basically create uh, a name for it, for it now. Odds are they won't know you, but there are well-known names for, for the Google's crawler, the Google bot, for the Yandex crawler, for the Bing crawler. So, um, so each, each of the known crawlers looks for its own name in the list to figure out which rules apply to it. So these are the rules that apply to all the crawlers. Right? And, uh, and they will be a sequence of things like allow and disallow. So anything that's under private in this, uh, in this domain is disallowed. Anything under other is disallowed, except other public. And that you can crawl. So now, what does this mean? Uh, it means that as you're crawling the page, if you encounter any URL that says host.com slash other slash somefile.html, you cannot follow that link or you shouldn't follow that link. If you follow it, they'll give you the page, but you've just broken a rule that they asked you to follow. So um, if the URL says slash other slash public something, then you can follow that URL. Right? So it's basically a set of rules for which, where you should go and where you should not go as an automated crawler. Uh, of course, if you're a human, then you can go anywhere there is a link. Right? That's, that's the expectation. But as a crawler, you're expected to uh, Follow this. <clears throat> so uh, now, what happens? If, what happens if you ignore these rules? Um, nothing is going to happen immediately. So because they will not, uh, they will not immediately recognize that you're not human. Uh, but at some point, somebody is going to come in, analyze the logs, and see that uh, this particular script is doing bad things. So what are they going to do? Are they going to write a letter to you? No, uh, because you won't listen to them, and, uh, and, and they're probably lazy. So what they'll do is, uh, odds are they'll just blacklist your IP, or if they suspect that there is a block of IP numbers, like a dice lab, <laughs> they, they, they blacklist uh, the block. Uh, don't, don't assume that this doesn't happen. It does happen, uh, surprisingly often, and it doesn't take that much to annoy the guy on the other side. Remember, for them, blacklisting an IP is it's one rule in IP tables, right? and, and that's it. And then, and then you can't see them anymore. Um, so another bit. Uh, so um, now this is uh, this is sort of the techie side of not following the rules. Uh, there is uh, there is another side. Uh, so even if you even if you obey everything that's in robot text and you just follow things that seem to be allowed. Uh, by the way, you can uh, you can uh, if you're interested, you can you can do this in the browser, right? So this is. This is an example of what BBC uh, thinks about the various crawlers, right? So, uh, I guess uh, that's everything that BBC disallows uh, for Google Bot, and then they have a separate section for Yahoo Slurp and for a bunch of other things. So, they're not indexed. They're I'm sorry? They are not, they're not allowed, they're not indexed, right? Yes, the definition is if you are Google Bot. If you are Google's crawler and you see a URL that starts with slash app slash cbbc, you can't go there. I mean, so you, you won't that That's right. Just going as a result of that, like, search, Google search. Okay, so the question is, uh, as a Google, you would not index that subnet. Yes, that's correct. You would not index that part of the website. So that is the decision on the part of the BBC. That's what BBC wants you to do. So they don't want that portion of the website indexed. If somebody goes on the Google and enters that particular thing, won't find those services? So the question is, if somebody goes on Google and enters that particular thing, will they find anything? They, might, they may find lots of other pages that contain 
that part of the URL. Because remember, myblog.com might contain that string. Yeah, uh, with the host. Yes, but on that host, on the, on the bbc.co.uk, there should not be results starting with that, uh, with that prefix. And if they are, then somehow, somewhere, something has happened and Google is violating the gentleman's agreement with the BBC. With the BBC. Okay, um, so, uh, so this is the techie side of the rules. Uh, there is another side of the rules, and that is uh, even, if the cont even if you get to the content, even if you can follow the link to the content, and the content is uh, uh, visible and accessible to you, uh, it doesn't mean you can actually do anything with it legally. Okay, so the web is sort of a minefield in this respect, uh, and there's, uh, there's a couple of well-known cases. So this is a case from 2010. Uh, so a certain news organization called the Las Vegas Review Journal, um, which just publishes bits of opinionated news on certain topics, uh, at some point they looked at the web and figured out that people were reusing uh, quotes and portions and putting links to their articles directly from their pages. And, uh, and uh, being a nice little organization, they didn't bother blacklisting them. They just filed 81 lawsuits against everyone they found who, uh, who does that sort of thing. Now, I have no idea whether they won or lost, uh, but if you are a startup at the early stage, uh, a lawsuit is basically your death. You end right there. Not because they'll win, but because you don't have the money to fight and because your, your VCs are probably going to run at this point. They're going to say, okay, good luck. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, the, the, the basic idea there is just because you see it, just because you see it, and just because your crawler seems to be able to grab it, don't automatically assume that you can actually do anything with it, right? Because, uh, because the fact that it's visible and it's on the web, that doesn't mean that there is a legal right to use that bit of content. Now, there's lots of ways to use the content without them ever being aware that you're using it, but as soon as you publish it somewhere, as soon as you make it available to somebody else, uh, they can see it. So just, just be aware of that. 